Hi guys, it's Jenny from the ScrapFX design team. Today I'm using my ScrapFX junk journal and I'm using an acetate sheet in the center of my art journal page as an interactive. Here I'm using a bit of kitchen wrap and I'm just prepping my pages so that I don't get any overflow on my um, already previously made pages. I'm using Neve Bailey's abstract boire collage paper from ScrapFX and I'm picking a couple of colours from that collage paper to do my background. So I've used a cerise, a bubblegum pink and black I've picked from that collage paper and I'm just painting in the raw thirds, so three little blotches of paint of each colour and I'm drying in between the colours so that I get no mud, just sort of clear pure colours. So just layering those colours down. Trying to be fairly random about the colour. And just going back through and trying to blend that out so we don't have too much streakiness. I'm happy with the background I'm using parts of that collage paper I've just torn it into strips being aware of where the colors are laying so I've got a little bit of that black sitting on my black paint back painted background and I'm just gluing those elements down or collaging those elements down trying to give it a bit of a pop color and a little bit more visual interest to the background with those design pieces of the rice paper once that collage glue is dry, I've then gone back in with my paint pens and I've just picked up a few of the doodling elements in the collage paper and I'm adding that to my page just to try and embed that collage paper into the background and make it look more like my own and that there's no collage paper included in the background. This is just a tealy colour paint pen and I'm just scribbling over the rice paper and the backgrounds and then blending that in with my finger. Again, trying to embed that collage paper so that it becomes one with the background and it's hard to tell that there's actually collage paper there. So this little stamp set is by ScrapFX. It's called Doll Figures. And I'm just stamping that out with black archival onto book paper. They're cute little, little people that I think I will be using quite often. Quite a cute little stamp set. So I'm just using the book paper to give it a bit more visual interest. And here is the collage triangles. I'm using that with some black archival, stamping randomly in the background, and then collage circles in blue. That's just to give it a little bit more pop in the background. Now this is a heavyweight cardstock and I'm just stamping that down with the Gothic window from Scrap FX and I'm using some coloured archival here. So the idea is these are going to be all elements that I'm going to collage back into my art journal. This one here is Flower Power and I'm just using the large and the small circle in this set. Again stamping that out in a blue tone ink and I'm going to fussy cut these out and use them as collage elements on my pages. I'm cutting quite close to the stamped image. Once these are all fussy cut, I'll also ink around the edges as well so I don't have any too much white cardstock sticking out from the edges. And you can see here I've also fussy cut the dolls out as well. So I'm using some paint pens here just to go back over the stamped designs. Especially on this gothic window, it's got quite some quite fine lines there. So I'm just doodling over the top and sort of adding a bit more of my own meraki to the actual stamped image. 
and here I'm using a contrast colour of paint over the little circles just to give it a bit more hand doodling and make those little circles again a bit of my own. So this is just a little bit of coloured thread that I've got from my stash and I wanted a little bit more texture to the background so I'm just adding that and a bit of sari silk and you can see here I'm just inking the edges of that cardstock just so there's no nasty bright white cardstock sort of sticking out and I'm just auditioning my stamped images in position before I glue them down making sure that they are sitting where I think they need to be without sort of covering up too much of that background. I'm using leftovers of that collage paper here just to add a bit more pop of colour on the acetate and just so that I've got somewhere to stick my doll down. Because the acetate is clear I have to be aware of what's happening on the other side so that I can hide the mechanics there. Once I'm happy with all my elements I'm going to glue those down. I'm just using a fine glitter glue in my applicator here and wiping off any excess glue and now I'm just popping down those collaged images again with the cotton and the sari silk. The book paper was quite thick so I was able to use glue stick there just to glue that down directly onto the page and then just using that glitter glue to put down the, the heavier weight items like the cotton and the sari and the cardstock. I love these little quirky characters. I think the book pages just make them a little bit more whimsical as well. So again, here on the acetate, I'm using a little bit of collage glue to stick that rice paper down and just wiping off any excess that gets onto the page. Just gluing down all those little elements that I had auditioned beforehand. making sure that everything sort of touches and has some sort of connection so just layering each little element upon themselves here I'm using the hearty stencil um, I'm using this as a template just drawing it on the back of the rice paper so I've got all my little hearts in uniform shape and I'm cutting those out, fussy cutting them out, and I'm going to collage them onto the chest of each of the dolls. Just gives it a bit more of a uniform look by using the stencil as a template. Now here I'm just gluing those down with a bit of collage glue. And just being careful when I'm drying on the acetate that I don't heat that up too much and make it shrivel. So this is the reverse side of the acetate and I'm just trying to hide my mechanics from the previous little collection that I glued to the front of the page. So I'm just layering that collage paper down over the area that I've already glued and just putting my little elements down, layering them on top again. So just making a little grouping of all my stamped images and textiles. I think the thread and the sari just give it a little bit more pop of interest and something that sari is sort of the right colour for the background so it just gives a little pop of colour which I really like. I've cut that stamp in half and I'm just tucking that in underneath my little doll and window and so on the other page I've got the other element to glue down just to hide the mechanics again from the previous page. And then that becomes a full see-through interactive page, which I really like. Just given that art journal something else by using those acetate pages in, in between the layout. Again, just auditioning these pieces and I'm gluing down their little hearts of rice paper. And 
again adding the cotton and the sari silk here which just gives each little grouping its own little uniformity and becomes cohesive throughout the layer. So once that glue is dry, I've gone back in with my paint pen and I'm just doodling around the hearts just so that they stand out a little bit more and become one with the actual image. And I've just inked around the pages as well, just for a bit more grounding. Now I'm just going back over with a fine paint pen and I'm just doodling over those stamped images, doing a little bit of mark making myself. And just tracing around some of those circles as well in the cardstock just so that it's grounded within the background and giving it my own meraki a little bit more oomph to the background now this is a little bit of leftover from the rice paper real women it's just the, the phrase that I liked and I thought it was quite appropriate for my page so I've glued that down collaged that down onto the heavyweight cardstock and I'm just cutting out those rice paper quotes now I'm going to audition those little pieces where I want in the focal point and then I will ink them with some dark pink um, archival ink around the edges just to make them pop a little bit from the page. So just cutting them out, auditioning and then I'll glue them down. This is a great way of using up all your elements of your rice paper. edges to ground those little letterings down and that's basically it I'm giving a bit of gold splatter to finish it off I was really happy with the way that this page finished off and with that acetate just gives that page something else a little bit more visual interest I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and give the scrap fx products a go I hope there's a bit of inspiration there for you Please give us a comment of what you thought about the tutorial and leave us a thumbs up. I'd really love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching. 